Copyright is tough to deal with on YouTube, so my way of avoiding that is this. The anime won't be shown in my video, but there's a link at the top of the description where you can watch my reaction and the anime at the same time. Is it jank? Yes. But does it do the job? Yes. So you can't complain. There will also be a timer going in my video that shows you exactly what part of the anime I'm reacting to. If for some reason you can't watch the YouTube Double website, a link to the actual episode will also be in the description so you can open that in a separate window with me. The great thing about the Double Video website is that it also works on mobile, so you guys have a chip into this too. Sorry to make you jump through rings of fire to be able to do this, but gotta be able to protect yourself on YouTube. Anyways, enjoy the reaction. What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we're going to be watching episode 2 of One Punch Man. The first one, I didn't know what to feel. The emotions were back and forth, up and down, and at the same time, it was crazy, serious, and hilarious. So an anime usually can't get those emotions out of you all at once, but One Punch Man managed to do just that. The episode was so crazy, so wonky, so wild, so unpredictable that I definitely have to get into episode 2 right now. You're watching this on stream, and the anime itself won't be showing for you if you're watching this on YouTube, but there's going to be a timer, like I explained in the little cutscene before the video started. Anyways, guys, let's not waste any time. Let's get into One Punch Man episode 2 out of 6. Let's do it. I don't know what to take seriously at this point, so we'll just keep an open mind with it. Mosquito are actually the biggest cause of human death in history. Damn, nigga. Well, how do you run for mosquitoes, man? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This kind of cringes me out a little bit. Mosquitoes. Shit, dude. Oh, he didn't hit it. Okay. I thought he did, and it somehow survived. So his body can take the impact of his punches as well? Or his hits in general? Because I'm surprised this Nigga, damn! Yo, this is some DBZ shit right here, my boy. Very fucking real. That, that nigga from Naruto fuck niggas up. So is he a superhero too? Or is he more of like an anti-hero? He seems like a Shadow the Hedgehog type, my boy. That nigga was moving though, man. This dude was teleporting and shit. That... <laughs> I want to really take in the intro and see if I like this song. So I might be quiet a bit for this intro segment, but um, understand. I'm just trying to see if I feel it. One pot, one pot. A. Hey. I'll give it one thing: the 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 character design of the enemies is really creative too. It seems like a lot of these enemies could have deep backstories, but this anime won't give them deep backstories due to the nature of it. I mean, but big props like the crab dude; he was pretty funny in my opinion, and um, I like the cyborg dude's design big time. Also, the concept of the two brothers and the little brother becoming super buff thanks to the scientist's older brother, that was a cool idea, and I think it was portrayed extremely well. I loved the design of those two as an enemy duo. What do you guys think? Press 1 if you like the big brother, older brother design and him trying to get stronger and he becomes this fucking titan. It was crazy. I loved that idea. It was too bad it didn't really last too long. And all these enemies seem so creative, but are any of them really going to have an impact on One Punch Man? Like, they look like they will, but I doubt it. This dude is a fucking monster. Every character is interesting, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Damn, nigga. He's done. Damn. Ah! Damn! Oh shit! Oh, it's a chick. She's kind of bad. Did she become like... Who the hell is this dude? Nigga, damn. When you nut, but she keeps sucking. Word, nigga. You, <laughs> the nigga turned into a fucking skeleton. Woo! My boy. My boy. My nigga Iron Man put him working. This nigga looks real. He kind of gives me a K vibe from King of Fighters. My boy. Did he finally get it? How the fuck this nigga... He's fast enough to be able to teleport in spot, but he can't catch the damn mosquito. <laughs> Yo, this anime is crazy! These scenes... Yo! This nigga's real! My boy! She took his fucking arm off! Damn! What the fuck is he gonna do now? Holy shit! She she pulled out. She pulled the fuck out. That's it. Damn. Yeah, you see her nipples and everything. Uh oh. Nigga said an arm for two legs. That's a deal I'll make right there. It's about to get powered up. Here we go. Dead ass. Dead ass. Nigga said I'd empty my juice into her. Yo. <laughs> Where's my boy? She can take my juices, my boy. <laughs> she can take. I think he would be vulnerable to mosquitoes like that. He would definitely be vulnerable. My boy, it's time to leave. I mean, if he's got skin, they can bite him. Then, I mean, that's it. These enemies are insane. Mosquito girl. Yo. Oh. 
Nigga, this is too real. This is too fucking real. Look at these fights. How did he light up a nigga like that? Wow. Yeah, of course. And his fucking dick is hanging out too. That nigga's dead. That nigga's shit. But um, tish. Really? Woo! My boy. If she survived that, then this is going to be fucking serious. And this nigga's got his dick out. I'm sorry, I wouldn't want to fight a girl like this with my dick hanging. No! No! This nigga's about to die, yo. Damn, nigga. Please don't tell me he dies here. He seems like too cool of a character. Damn, it's over. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace in the chat. Yo, One Punch, save your boy. One Punch, save your fucking boy. That nigga's getting fucked up. I wish I could rewind that. I can't deal with this. I really can't deal with this. Saitama, that's his name? Oh. Mosquitoes suck. Yiga, are you kidding me? He destroyed that bitch with one fucking punch. I blinked and I missed that shit, yo. He bah, fucking turned her into spaghetti. So somehow he repaired himself. I mean, I can understand why he wanted to be taken in. Like she was, got, she was about to end him, yo. And Genos. Saitama and Genis. Okay. It was a slap? It wasn't even a punch? It was a slap? He slapped her? <laughs> he can't be a role. He can't be human. Nigga, <laughs> he's on his Mutual King shit, my boy. I can't believe it was a slap. A crazy cyborg. Damn, nigga. Hmm. He had nothing to lose. His whole family was dead. Of course he would do it. So he's 19. Okay. Damn. So this nigga's been working, but you can tell.
Okay. Nigga, are you serious? Holy shit. Nigga, okay. Okay. Jesus, you, I, I knew something was getting weird when the music accelerated pace, yo. She was merely a prototype. He really, <laughs> he really slapped her. Good luck. I wonder what he did to train himself to be that strong. Like, one punch. How did he become so strong? I don't understand it. He said that. I, I don't know. I don't know, my boy. No, he's my age. 25. Let's go. Thank God I'm not bald yet. That'll suck if that ever happened. I lose all my hair, man. Fuck my life. I'll just kill myself after. No, no offense to my bald niggas, but I have a lot of value in my hair. This this shit got more villains in it than Power Rangers, dude. <laughs> this shit is like Power Rangers, man. Niggas just niggas just jump in. I do like this guy as a character, though. Geno is awesome. Never mind, nigga. Oh. It's getting serious. Is that that nigga? Yo! Yo! This animation is amazing! What the fuck? Okay, so we got some... Yo, Geno is crazy. Jesus Christ. Oh my gorilla. This anime is crazy, dude. Why is Saitama still in the ground? Like, this nigga needs... Why are you staying there, dude? He literally feels nothing for the situation right now. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Yo, this situation is so stupid, dude. Uh oh. I I guess he realized. You know, we put this nigga in the ground and he just stepped out. This dude is the mole is scared as fuck. You see that nigga? He's shaking. He's like, what in the hell? I love how he said, okay. Damn. Nigga said. That nigga's dead. Oh my fucking god. Yo! Gone, nigga. Damn, he blew his shit up. Damn! This is crazy. If I was that mole, nigga, it's time to leave, my boy. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, my boy. Yo! <laughs> this shit is creepy as hell. That shit is so disturbing, dude. When you see his face come out the fucking dirt, look at this. Hey. <laughs> he beat him? He beat him! My boy Geno, I would have liked to see his fight too. Damn, Geno! Well, the Beast King, uh, he's a little... He's... He's a little preoccupied at the moment. <laughs> Snicker's face. He's like, damn it. Yo, he turned him to a bitch real quick. Real quick. That nigga. That nigga, that nigga was like. <laughs> nigga. Holy shit, yo. And that's what happened to the mole? Nigga got splattered on a wall. Dog, this anime is ridiculous. The Beast King, though. Yo. That nigga fucking, he had his eyeball dripping. And that boy said... Fuck. Yo. Wait, no, no, no preview. No, no preview. I don't even want to see a preview. What should we? What the hell? 
Okay, no preview. I don't want to see a preview. I mean, even though we might miss, I guess, maybe an inside joke here and there, but whatever. Now, it's quite clear to me that this anime is basically putting its skills on display. That Lion King, Beast King, whatever you want to call him, holy shit. The sequence with him was so unique in the sense that um, he was using a lot of the slashes and the lighting effects and all that. Yo, man, it was so different. And this anime, like I said, I give huge props to the enemies, dog, because the ca- all the characters in general, they're all extremely creative, deep, huge backstories, amazing abilities. The most lame, bland character in this whole thing, and I shouldn't even call him lame, but just the most plain old character, is One Punch Man himself. His concept seems so simple in comparison to all these other guys. I mean, the the, <laughs> the gorilla machine thing, I would have loved to have seen what his backstory was. Geno has an amazing backstory. The Mosquito Girl was an awesome character. The designs on these guys are so deep. None of them are cheap at all. Like, they... they I'll give massive props to the enemies in this one. Um, of course, they do have their joke enemies like the frog and the pig. And, um, you know, that's to be expected, I guess, in an anime like this. But um, I, I got to tell you, man, I've, I, it's been a while since I've seen anime with enemies that are so creative, um, eye-catching, and at the same time, interesting. A lot of these guys, uh, I wish they didn't get killed off so fast. But that's part of the appeal as well, too. The fact that One Punch Man, he truly does... He, he, he truly lives up to that name, man, and we haven't seen an exception to the rule yet. I was thinking that maybe by now he would have run into somebody that would be able to stop him in his tracks, but it hasn't happened yet. And I, at this point now, I'm starting to feel like maybe it won't. There's only four more episodes of this anime to watch right now currently, and I can't really imagine that in those four he's going to meet somebody that can be considered his equal. I did think initially that it would be Geno at the start of the episode who would kind of give one punch a run for his money maybe. Maybe he, Geno was a bad guy, but it turns out he's not a bad guy. In fact, he's not even an anti-hero, so to speak, but he's actually someone who's trying to get revenge for his family and stop this fucking robot guy he's looking for. I thought initially that the gorilla would be him, but he's not. But obviously, the evil robot dude who Geno is looking for is part of this association or this this company or this this team of guys who create these crazy monsters. Um, kind of reminds me of um, Nightmare from... Uh, Kirby right back at you where um, he comes like King DDD orders all these monsters and shit but um, these guys are awesome I just don't know where this anime is going to actually have a serious storyline but it seems like one is kind of coming to fruition with Geno's introduction to the series Geno's got now like is Geno's or Geno? Geno's has sort of a plot to him so maybe that added to it will kind of make One Punch Man sort of stand out in a way where it's like okay now we have something to actually do rather than one point just getting bored with life. Still, amazing fight scenes. Some of the best I think I've ever seen. Definitely. I mean, and there's a lot of good fight scenes out there right now. Um, But these definitely are a cut above. And the great part about it is the variation. Even though we've seen so many fights in these last two episodes... They, none of them have been the same. Each encounter has been so massively different from the last. The Mosquito Girl concept was amazing. I've never seen a fight like that in my life. And even though they don't last too long, they leave an impact on how different they are. She, her concept with, with catching the blood of all the animals around her, then combining to create a super creature, and she's just doing all this crazy shit in her character design, the way she behaves, everything about that girl was insane. What a character, dude. What a fucking character. Is anyone else appreciating it as much as I am? How different these characters are? How amazing they are? How much of... How how long they last in your head? I'm never going to be able to stop thinking about that girl. She was crazy. How the hell did she get like that in the first place? Was she genetically modified to be like that? And the whole mosquito concept. Like, every single time a new enemy is revealed, it makes it seem like they're going to be the ones that are there to, to give one punch or run for his money. But it turns out all this nigga does is... Or he fucking punches him, and that's it. He turned the fucking Beast King into fucking soup in a matter of fucking milliseconds. It's crazy. I'm loving it so far. I can't get enough of this fucking show.